is a jewelry. It's a piece of labradite. It's one of my very favorite stones to work with. It's beautiful, it has a flash in it, and it just kind of spoke to me and told me that it needed to be a ring. I have wanted to do something artistic for as long as I can remember, and I I kind of dabbled in a bunch of things, and I never really found my niche until jewelry. I have been about I'm five months into this. I've been taking classes here and there, but this is kind of, I just found my passion and I love it. I noticed that there were no portraits of the professors in the visual arts department. And um, in my, my former profession, before I retired, I was a dentist. And it's common in medical schools and dental schools to have portraits of the professors. Um, essentially, I just asked Rick to teach a short lesson about um, gesture drawing to the people who were in the studio at the time. And that is how we got this very natural pose of him. My goal as a portrait artist is to try to capture the spirit of the person and I hope that the, the, the light that's inside the people come through and I hope I was able to capture this. I've been looking at this piece of Jasper for years and other pieces of Jasper which is one of my favorite gems and wanting to blow it up huge so that the patterns that I'm seeing I can present to other people. And then I ended up building all of the, the boxes for it and ended up uh, using you know, copper, uh, copper rods and ended up putting a patina on the copper and ended up doing encaustic on the surfaces. I'm super duper stoked, it's a major honor. There's a lot of really cool pieces here and so I'm, I'm very happy to be recognized and it's nice to be able to pay the bills. Well, I've, I've entered the President's Show uh, in years past, so, uh, um, and then a friend uh, sent me the email and said, you need to enter this. And so the night before they were due, I, <laughs> I joined and <laughs> there was quite a little bit of a production to enter, but it was worth it, obviously. So. Up is the title, and it kind of just, uh, I, I mean, I started doing it, and, and frankly, when I started, it was more abstract, and I started to see some balloon shapes, so I just went with it and finished the piece. I, I like playing with different formats, so the really long, thin format was kind of fun, and uh, just in the last couple of years, I've been very geometric, and all of a sudden, circular spheric shapes have uh, come into play, so just was playing with that, so yeah. My piece, Disconnect, won second place in the President's Art Show. Uh, it's a ceramic piece, it's coil built, made of um, high fire ceramic and electrical hardware. Initially the inspiration came from a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis that I received almost three years ago and I've created a lot of works where I have um, electrical hardware that's gone bad and that's kind of how I feel sometimes. With this piece, the, you know, the, the plug is just not connecting all the way, so the heart, a lot of times I feel like I want to do things and I just, my brain is saying, you just don't have the energy or it's just, I'm just not getting the message. Uh, my piece, Clustering Seahorse Eggs, just won the President's Award at the Salt Lake Community College President's Art Exhibition, and I am stunned <laughs> and very happy. This is part of a large series of a body of work um, that is themed in ocean conservation. Uh, these are trace monotype prints, which go through several processes, and then the end result is that they are transparent. Um, when these are in an installation, and there's prints all around you along with work that's on the floor which uh, usually includes some sort of polluted beach um, and other things that I do for an installation. Uh, it, it immerses you in this environment that's about the ocean and you, you get this feeling of being underwater um, almost with these organisms.
very honored because this is a great show. There's wonderful pieces in here. So I'm very honored that, that they would select this to be the uh, winner of the show. And so very pleased, I'm excited. The inspiration for this piece is the fact that I just love the buildings around here in Salt Lake. And I'm kind of a, sort of more considered a process painter, which means that I like to show the process of the paint. I don't cover up the fact that there's paint on the canvas. So some people would say it's sort of a semi-abstract painting. If you get really close, it's a bunch of paint, bunch of colors, bunch of shapes and design. But when you get back away from it, it has a whole different look. So I'm more inspired by the painting process itself.